Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today we'll be checking out the weapon upgrade quest for Genome Pod 3 against Ganon Balor. So let's go check it out. Alright, we're going to be fighting the weapon quest here level uncap for upgrading your weapons for the genome pod versus Ganon Balor. If you take a look at it, we want to have a fire element equipped and a circle sigil. If we just select it here, check out our enemy is going to be Ganon Balor. And he's weak to fire. He resists the lightning and water, immune to the stun. And his attack changes based on the force gauge of charge. The gauge can be depleted with damage. It restores his own hit points during the stream phase mend. Abilities that deal great damage and buffs like defense up are effective against this enemy. So the fight's going to begin. And right away he's going to rush you. Take down your hit points right away. But you want to just stay in attack mode and just deplete that charge gauge right away. Once the charge gauge is depleted, he'll be stunned for a little bit. Then you can use that time to heal up. Because right after that, he's going to thunderclap you. Then you want to just start going back and dealing some more damage. Attack his sigils when he tries to mend and stop him from regening. So let's see if we can do it here. Let's see what we got. So we got our party set up. I'm um, using Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa. I think I recently switched Tifa to the physical damage mode. But let's see what we got. Cloud... So he loads. Right here we got Cloud equipped with the Mass Moon for the higher amount of physical attack bonus from it. Even though we're not going to be using uh, you know, this ability here. Thunderstrike, yep. That was it. We're going to be using this Materia here. And actually I should upgrade it because uh, we, we're going to need to upgrade that to Fire a Blow. But that's what, just what we had, I guess. Uh, so I'll have to go back and check that out. See if I have any other ones. So I'll just go to filter. Filter under the fire element. And yeah, I need to make some more materia and get, you know, the blue star for that. Because notice you're going to end up getting 257% damage versus what we got here of 220%. So you get a little damage bonus. Go into that. Obviously, you want some five star with the physical attack, physical attack percentage, hit point percentage, and, you know, stuff like that. But here we're gonna do it with fire blow equipped, and then we got uh, going over to Tifa. Wait, let me look back here. Okay, and then we got the circle. Rune Blow here. So this one we got the three star Rune Blow. Oh, okay, we need to upgrade that one too, actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some farming for some other materials for upgrading more material, but then we go to Tifa. And okay, she's still using the magic magic mode, I guess. Uh, Power Soul. And then see what her stats were. Actually, kind of need to set her up a little better. She should have either higher magic attack or physical attack. Um, and we got her here with the magical version. But let's we'll see what we can do with this anyway. And then we got Aerith. Uh, basically, this is just the highest weapon I had. And then we got our damage sigil here for the circle. And Fyra. And you want these over here down in the damage slots because here you're going to get, come on, 20 magic ability damage. This one also, 20 magic ability damage. And then I have my cure up here because that slot's only going to give you 10 ability damage. That way our cure's up here and our damage stuff's down here. Let's see if we can beat this guy. And then we're going to be getting some items for upgrading. Like uh, right now I'm doing it for Aerith. So I can upgrade 
this weapon here, the guard stick, and need some genome pods to uncap the level to 60. So let's see if we can do this here. So we're gonna just head in, fight some Ganon Balor. We'll just use our triple stamina power. I guess we're gonna have to use a stamina tonic also. And then we'll head in. Come on, close. Now obviously it should uh, refine the party setup a little bit better and update this pre-setup party saved preset. Still haven't used Sephiroth at, ever, at all yet. Still haven't used Sephiroth. All right, so there he is. He's gonna start off right off the bat and he's gonna rush us. Our hit point's gonna drop down here. We wanna just keep going, fire below. We're gonna slow it down just so we can see everything. All right, then fire blow, keep going. I wanna take out this gauge here before Thunderfall lands, otherwise we're just gonna be dead. All right, so now he's energy depleted. Now we're gonna use this time to make sure we're all healed up to full. And cure. Everybody's full. Now he's gonna continue and get ready to thunderfall. We're gonna stay in defensive mode to lower the damage. And okay, we're gonna survive that. Let's try and heal up quick. Will we be able to? Throw a heal out quick. Alright. Now we're gonna start attacking them. Well, maybe we need to heal again. All right, another quick heal off. He's getting bolt bombed. Uh, thunder somersault and lower his defenses. You know, try to start staying alive, heal up a little bit. He hits pretty hard, so just want to make sure we're doing some damage but also stay alive. Now he's going to go irate. We want to just stay in attack mode and hopefully we can stun him. We're still taking damage, but we need to deplete that gauge. There we go, now he can heal up. Heal everybody back up. We need Cloud to get some hit points here. Heal me up. All right, now we're gonna lower his defenses again. And some fire blow damage. And cross slash. Right, we're gonna have to heal up. Cloud's looking a little low. Tifa too, or yeah, Tifa also. I was gonna try to heal himself. We need to just get back in attack mode and stop that mend. Slow him down. I think if we get hit again, we'll switch to the healing wind. May need to do that anyway. I'm just waiting for like Tifa to take some damage. There you go. We're gonna quick do a healing wind and then go immediately back into attack mode because we gotta still stun him. So, okay, back into that mode. Since we stun him, we got enough hit points and we should be able to just start damaging him down. He's got a defense bonus, we gotta get rid of some of that. Obviously we had some better defense down abilities would help out there. Lower his defenses even more. Uh, Aerith's got a skill that lowers uh, physical and magic and then Tifa's somersault also does both of them. All right, he's gearing up another thunder strike on us. So we're gonna Switch back to defensive mode right now before this goes off. Look out. All right, and then she's stunned. Let's just make sure we get her healed up. And start dealing some damage on him. I think we'll try to hope we can get... Okay, he's in power mode again. We want to just keep going. Deplete that power gauge. Gotta just not let up. 
I need to stop Thunderfall from being a powered up version. Okay, he's stunned. And looks like we should be able to finish him off with some limit breaks, hopefully. Pretty close. Cross slash. One more attack should do it. And there we go. We got Ganon Balor defeated. And we'll get some items for upgrading another weapon. And you're going to go back, repeat it. Triple up your stamina. Get some more. Uh, don't overdo it. Okay, see, we're good. Did better. Only got the A quality. Obviously, you want to have some better uh, upgrading our materia for a little better damage and some better defenses down. Maybe focus on just one of them, taking less damage, raise our defenses up so we don't have to stop doing the damage to heal. But there you go, we got some, uh, well, we didn't get any genome pods. All right, see you in the next Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video.